Hey guys, we're the Travelling Giants. Welcome to our video and please don't forget to subscribe. Morning all. <clears throat> so, we woke up this morning in Port Mad Dog. Um, quite a lovely location. We are parked right near the water's edge. Uh, we found a spot and park for nights. There's space for two vans really. Um, you are parked next to a business of some sort who turn up at 5 a.m. in the morning, but they're quite quiet about it. They, you hear the engine start and them drive off. But yeah, have a look around and see what we woke up to. Mountains in the distance. I'm guessing at some point today this river will fill up. That's the business. And that's where we're parked. Absolutely beautiful here. It does say on Park from Nights that there's a height barrier. But the height barrier is for the car park next to it. Um, here's two spots that you can park. There's a chippy about two minute walk away in that direction. Follow it around to the right and left. Um, pay to park car park if you want to use that. But the height barrier is two meters. But yeah, not a bad location for the night. Uh, we're gonna go up to somewhere today. I can't remember where it is. No. But yeah, we'll see what, hap what happens today and yeah. Hey guys, so we've stopped at a place called Spooners for breakfast. Um, it's right on the train tracks, so we're watching the steam engines behind us. We've got one to the left, one to the right. And look at this fabulous breakfast we've got. A bit of Egg Benedict. And Anna's gone for the nice, small, full Welsh. I just said full breakfast. Full breakfast. <laughs> Just finished our breakfast at Spooners. Absolutely beautiful. It was um, lovely watching the trains coming and going. We're now taking a walk along the harbour. Once again, stunning little place. Got the 
Harbour Master. The museum looks closed. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, uh, so we've just come along to a disused slope slate quarry. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's meant to have most of its buildings still left, derelict but left. But the views around here are stunning. I'll give you a quick look around. Typical of me that there's a tree. Anna, we've got to walk up there. Norway. No, we're not going to Norway. <laughs> the private land keep out bollocks. <laughs> I'll probably climb into my bollocks, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a road that runs right down the back there. Parked up there. So Anna's left me on this one way and she's gone for a walk along the pathway, understandably because it's very very slippery in here, lots of climbing, she's not good at climbing. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to hit the very top, that's a long way to go and it's a hot day, but we're going to have a look at a few bits in here, see what's about. It is a proper dodgy walk to get down to some of these. Ooh. Made it to the cave.
No. I'm hoping for it to be in the cage, that was lovely. Alright, oh, do you want to help me back for? Amazing. I don't know if it's one of the people that built it that looks more modern, but that is fantastic of the old miners. Right, I'm going to head back through now. The last thing I expected to see when I got up to the cave was this one. <laughs> yes, the person who's petrified of heights and rocks and climbing decided that she's going to come up this way. 30 weeks pregnant. It don't look that bad. It don't look too bad in a video. My mother is going to kill me for allowing this, but she's her own person, mother. To be fair, you didn't allow it, I just did it. <laughs> exactly. I'd love to go down there, but other than that dodgy path, I ain't seen a way, I ain't doing it. One of the old entrances, all handballed, how mental. Still tracks on the floor, there's three mines up here in three different directions, don't know how far they go. You're really not going to see nothing in here. I've got my torch running so I can see, and it's fucking beautiful. The tracks all the way down to the top of the end that way. Nothing that way except for the tail, then goes off to the right. Looks like part of the old cart. I'll walk all the way back. <coughs> I'm not sure how much longer that's going to hold out. Shut up, Father. Yeah, fuck it. 
So I was going to decide to go back up, but I'm knackered. Can't do it. Also, I've left Anna down at the bottom somewhere, all the way down over there. So we have only touched the surface here. There's so much to see. You've got the old crate there, uh, the old lift going up and down above that. You've got the wheel. You've got buildings. You've got oh, just bits everywhere. Um, I was told by some guy here that it was done at a time of um, child labour, basically, and they give them one pay. For, they had to pay for one candle, and that's all they had for the whole day. They had to make it last. Not entirely sure how true it is. It makes sense with all the pulley system, but on the same case, I have seen an electrical cable running through one of the caves. That could be a more modern thing later date. But who knows? All right, catch you later. I gotta go have a look. So it goes in about 20 foot um, and then just stops. I don't know if it was a pot of something or what that was uh, we'll carry on I ain't climbing that. cage fucking beautiful absolutely fucking beautiful honestly I can't describe in words how it is here I'd love to spend a week here just exploring here every inch of this amazing don't get me wrong I reckon working it well amazing but viewing it now next level This place just keeps going. You tell me how it's more. Hey! So we had a fantastic time at the um, slate quarry. Quarry, absolutely brilliant. I um, really wish I could stay there for a week. You turned into a big child climbing. I everything. am a big child. Do not question that. But we went back for a bit of lunch in the van and decided that we're going to try out a castle that's just around the corner. So we have now come to. I'm not even going to pronounce it. It sounds like carnification. But I know it's completely miles off. Um, if I see a sign, I'll show you. But yeah, it's quite a big castle, right in the middle of the town centre. And um, yeah, let's have a look.
How cool is that bench? It's actually a really nice town. Very new. Very new. Harbour. Middle finger. That's cool. I really want it to just mm. mod fire. Yeah. 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 I didn't ask him how to say the name. I'm sure we'll find out, darling. I'm up there. I'm gonna. So I'm not a royalist, but this is the castle where Prince Charles got named the Prince of Wales. Just a boring fact for you. Oh, oh we're gonna take him to the dark alley. Alright, lit up. <laughs> A lot of you corners. I didn't fuck <laughs> up. That was a lot of corners. Yeah. To just bring us back where we came out from. The opposite side, darling. No, it's not. Yes. It goes somewhere else. It goes through a little window here. Big window here. And set of stairs here. To the shitter, darling. What, a long way from the toilet? I know, right? That's because it smells so bad. <laughs> My legs are killing me. Broken. I love the hands. Yeah. Down there,
Child. Oh, darling. That looks like a nice little park up. So, doing a walk around the castle, you go up and down every single tower, thousands of steps, and actually, really nice castle. The outside's well looked after. Nothing on the insides, but it's really nice. Oh, I just lied. Now we're inside. Let's have a look. Oh, they're skinny out back then. You've got a couple of stairs here, darling. Come on. We can do this, you're on camera now. Don't show them what you really like. Don't you like it. Stop it. So Eleanor was a child bride, a wedding of French wars. Oh yeah. Yeah, move even those too easy. This one happened to be slight though, isn't it? I know the price is so high. I'm not sure if this is all of that. I don't know. I don't know what I got paid for. Not I paid. I'm sorry, darling. It's that bridge we walked across. So we're having a debate, she's got shooting pains in her belly and she's got pains in her belly and she's freaking out that her baby's going to come out and it's going to be Welsh. So I'm trying to go and say, well, should we go back to Hastings Way? You know, we've got like an eight hour drive. Mm. She's like, uh, no, I'm on a Welsh baby. I'm on holiday. She thinks she's going to come out like Welsh rabbit.
Ooh. Are they sloping? Finished up in the castle. It was really good. Really good castle. Probably enjoyed that one. Um, we're now taking a little walk around the town just to see what's about really. Um, it's probably one of the nicest towns I've been to since we've been here. Absolutely beautiful place. Yeah. Which way do I go? I think right, I think that's the pod After any successful day, you have to finish off with an ice cream. Uh, I believe it's Biscoff ice cream? Yes. Yeah, Biscoff ice cream. How is it? Very good. Have a look. Mm. It's actually quite a nice ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's us for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification button and follow our travels and where we go next. Thank you very much.